Hey folks, John from Monday and our Chevys. Today, this year, or however long it takes, I'm getting rid of this unholy mess. Uh, it's made out of an old typewriter table and garbage bin wheels. Frankly, it's an embarrassment and I don't even want to show you. I wanted to have this cover on it. But it served me well. Hasn't fallen over, kept all the junk together, but it's got to go. It's just a waste of space. So I was watching a video on YouTube by a, on a welding channel. And on his home unit, he went and put all this crap on a toolbox. So hopefully, by the time this is all said and done, we're going to have this and the bottle and all the junk that's scattered all over my garage. Right now, I, it, it's horrible. So anyways, turn this into the new welding cart. It's kind of a nice couple hundred dollar toolbox. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll try to keep you along. And one of the things I'm going to use is this plate here. I have no idea where it came from. I made uh, one of these into my little bottle set over here. Made a little cart for it out of one of these. You know, make a bracket. Put this puppy down there and hold my bottle. And find some more parts. Well, I got it up here on my little table. Got this about where I want it. Might notch it off for these tires here and bring it down a little bit, but be about three inches off the ground. Of course, you go through all your remnant pile and you find pairs of stuff that won't work. Right size. Then you find that one piece that's awesome. It's the same dimension as what you got going here. And then I'm just going to come up here and put a cap to hook here. And basically this is going to weld up into there. It's going to hang all off this top lip. Now I just need to find some more stuff. I mean, this is almost workable. But again, I don't have enough. What's the purpose of having a shit pile if you don't have everything you need? Oh, well, to have a shit pile. Alright, well, finally found uh, enough metal to probably do this. Some angle iron and stuff on the top. Got some uh, two inch C channel here to make my straps coming down. So I just need to figure out how long to make them. <sighs> just had that tape measure. Alright, I'll be back. Hey, just the simple things in life, right? So, with that right about there, 28 inches. That ought to be good enough to get me in the ballpark chop up this stuff and uh, not lose my tape measure. I'm also getting a little old these days so we got this buddy here. Next time you've seen me do this with uh, the Grand Prix I'm getting tired of getting hurt. Old age. Alright, time to start chopping up some stuff and do something I call welding. And trust me, I do a lot of grinding. Okay, folks, this is the loud, noisy part. Metal cutting saw. Found my tape measure again. Tried not to lose it.
You guys don't get a set of these. I do. Pieces cut. Time to lay it all out and weld her up. Barbara, I'm already loving my table. Flat surface, you pack shit on it. So, all right, all right, folks. Been grinding on stuff. <laughs> Muted the TV. Watching the Revenant tonight. But. Uh, Got everything basically ground up. And set her up. Buzz her down. I had it out on a job and haven't bothered to hook the bottle back up yet. Put the gauges on and change the wire, change the settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this with the flux core wire. I plan on grinding it, painting it. It's doesn't have to be pretty. Don't know how to TIG, so it'll never be beautiful. Alrighty, well, got her laid out. Got some stiffening sticks or whatever. Keep them straight. Got this measured for the what I want at the top. So, got the machine set. Guess it's time to put on the hood and start buzzing. So, Put my little hook piece on here. And I space it off with a couple washers. Now this is all just tack welded, so it's probably going to fall apart. But basically, just kind of made a little hand truck type thing here. That's still a little warm. Yeah, it's going to hang right on the side there like that. Put the bottle on it. Put a couple eye hooks here for a chain, and I uh, think we're gonna be golden. Might have to notch out for the wheels down there a little bit, but I'm liking it. Yeah, all right. All right, well, I guess the revenant's over. Something else has come on. Anyways, we kinda got this welded up. Decided I'm gonna add uh, some angles here. I'm just going to support the weld a little bit and uh, give the bottom of the bottle something to, I don't know, be angled at or aimed at or keep the bottom from kicking out or something. But i uh, going to tack those in, put the top cap, make that pretty. Tack Scuff it up a little bit, spray it down with some black bed liner. Alright, there it is, it's nice and ugly. Got a little hook here. A little hook here on the top. Cover. There. 
So that ought to hold that thing on. Clean it up a little bit. Painter black. Well, there you go. It's uh, wet paint. Got a chain on there. What little link on that side. Yeah, one of them little twisty doohickey things on this side. First coat of black. Maybe I'll uh, spray some bed liner on it later to make it match the texture of the cart. But uh, that's good for now. Evidently, I'm watching Predator. So, anyways. Tried mocking this thing up a little bit. Decided that I uh, need to change the wheels from one side to the other. So, you know, you just put the thing in reverse. Blow your hair all around. And just swapping the casters one end to the other. bolts each wheel. One die. Yeah, swapping the wheels from one side to the other. So I can put the handle on the other side so I can have the welder sitting on there and have the door open to the side the drawers are on so I can change a wheel, change a welding wire wheel or Something like that a little easier. So, yeah, doing that. This is drying. Nowhere near dry. Probably be about ready for third coat before I go in for the night. Well, all right. Um, couldn't wait for the paint to dry. Got this on there. Hangs pretty nice. Rolls pretty good. Once I get some tools in it, I'll feel a little better about having the, the tires the way they are. But uh, yeah, a lot better. Really liking this idea. Uh, rather simple. Just spent the afternoon making a down and dirty, ugly bracket. Uh, I think I'm going to love this. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. One of these days we're going to get back into the Aztec. Got uh, a couple of avalanches to work on. Got the uh, project mistake to work on. I think somebody's buying that eventually. So, got to get uh, the oil leaks fixed and the front brakes on it. A little bit of cleanup, paint the door. All right, folks, I probably just got to probably make something to hang the cables off this a little nicer. But uh, I think this has been a uh, success. Might still put a couple bolts in there, but uh, yeah, maybe I just a couple little tweaks, but I think this is done. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Peace.